it's Lex Reacts to Project Spark and here is another selection of Project Spark games as played by Danny Boy 3600 so let's get on with it and our first game is Path of the Apprentice by Ghost 757 let's say Ghost Ghost 757 play the story of a mischievous mage apprentice who finds a dark dagger that piques his interest in dark magic hmm okay so it's some sort of RPG type game, is it? Right. Bored with novice level spells and enchantments taught by his instructor. That's his instructor there, is it? With the Our mischievous apprentice decided to duck out on today's lesson. Yeah, he's not looking, he's not interested, he's bored. And he's got a fork. Wandering through the goblin infested woods. Oh dear. Our apprentice finds a mysterious cave. That's always a bad idea in NRPGs to go into mysterious caves. And there's a mysterious daggery thing. Finds a dagger teeming with dark energy. Fascinated and curious by the dark energy, our apprentice has a choice to make. Ooh. Well, I wouldn't touch it. It looks a bit too dark. And it's probably evil. And it's probably make you ev evil. Okay, the choice is yours, young apprentice. Do you follow the benevolent part you were taught? Or your dark new path? So you've got choice of weapons. So you've got light weapons, benevolence and holy mine. And arcane rain and skull mine. And the projectile is blue and the melee is red. So if you beat them up with your fists then you're bad but if you throw projectiles at them then you're good okay I'm with you and you've got these bright green what was that a herd of goblins what's a, what's a what's a multiple of goblins is what is it grunt a grunt of goblins Sounds good. Let's go with that. Grunt of goblins. And he's cleared them up. And we've got these little portly things. No, I think they're checkpoints. Yeah, they're checkpoints. Oh, he's just he's trying out all his weapons now. So that was I don't know what that was. Skull. Anyway, we've got just thrown a holy mine I'm guessing with the cross that would have been a holy mine and that is a skull mine I guess because um, it was red and looked evil so we're trying them all out though there's a, he's using most of the dark energy than the light stuff in fact the light hasn't moved at all but he's definitely used some of the light weapons but I yeah Far too much melleeing is just going to make us dark, isn't it? I think. Yeah, even if we've got some of the little... Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Woo! Now, if you're going to do a bounce paddy thing, that's... You make it innovative. That's that's brilliant. Look at that. Right, and there's, there's another checkpoint. There's a checkpoint. That is a checkpoint. It's not a portal. It's a checkpoint. There's no point in doing that. It's not going to make you twisty round. The blue things make you twisty round. Okay. Where are we? <coughs> More goblins, I expect. Mm, is it a wall jump? No, I think that needs to turn on. Maybe you need to kill... Oh, yes, there's a boss. You need to kill the boss goblin first. He's got bright red hair. That looks like a wig to me. It's a goblin in a wig. The goblin in a red lady's wig. Somebody you wouldn't want to meet in a dark alley, I'm guessing. See, what's worse than meeting a goblin in a dark alley is making, meeting a goblin in a lady's wig. Definitely more terrifying. Yep, there we go. We've killed the boss and now we can go up. It's a spinny thing. Which is still amazingly cool. Okay, cross the bridge. Portal. Oh, wow! 
Oh, that's fantastic. I love that. I've not seen anybody else do that. That's brilliant. Love that. Um, I think we're... Hang on a minute. There was a cut. What did you do, Danny? What did you do that you need to cut it out? Did you do something stupid? And you thought, I'm not going to show people me doing this stupid thing. I'm going to cut that out. We will never know. Okay. So there's more dark spells being used, I think. There's a bit of a mixture of things going on, but it's all goblin killing. They're very green, these goblins, but I wish they were a little bit more interesting looking than just goblins. It would have been nice if there had been some... Because they're so innovative with the, the weaponry and the... and the transporter and what have you, bounce pad thing. It would be nice if they had been some innovative enemies as well. But... Anyway, this is very cool. I guess you've got to kill all of these goblins before that will work. And we're now a necromage. We've chosen the dark path. Well, of course we have. Danny's playing. He's not going to choose the light path, is he? He's going to choose the thing with the fireballs and the... And the dark stuff, of course he is. We don't expect anything different from Danny. Let me go double jump across there. There's another checkpoint. And... On we go. How much more of this game have we got? Oh, quite a bit. Let's go on to something else. Uh, that was a good game, though. Okay. Oh. It's Saturday. Oh, I've got Alexa. Adverts. Hello. I've got my ring. Oh, I'm not, I'm, I'm not even going to mention it. Right. What we got here? Super Sparks, Super Spark 64. Super Spark. Super Mario 64 Remake. I don't know who you are who've made this. I am sorry that he hasn't shown me. Uh, so let's see. I've baked a cake for you. Princess Toadstool. And there's Princess Toadstool. Hmm. Okay. Uh, well, this is a cutscene with a camera, and uh, what is that? What is that? What is that? I'm very confused. I'm always ready. Oh, well, there's there's Mario, I guess. Um, well, I don't know what that yellow thing was. It looked like he had a fishing rod. I'm not quite sure. I've watched, right, okay, so we've got to go into the castle then, I guess. Off we go. Oh, that yellow thing's back with his fishing rod. Um, Lakito Brothers. Well, I'm confused. I've no idea what that was. Some sort of weird reporter. Um, anyway, so we're in, in we're in. And uh, there's lots of doors with stars on them. I'm glad to see you, the princess and everybody. We're all trapped inside the castle walls. Bowser has stopped. Um, please recover the power stars. As you find them, you can use their power to open the doors that Bowser has sealed. Okay. Have we got any stars? We haven't got any stars. It takes the power of one star to open the door. So we can't open that door because it's... And that one needs three, so... Maybe we need to collect some stars from somewhere. And that. Uh, oh. Well, that was confusing. How come we were allowed in this room? And that. Uh, oh. Well, that was bizarre. Oh, Rodrigo Bezzi was the creator of that. There we go. At least we know who did it. Um, I don't know what to make of that. It's obviously an unfinished game bit hard to make some sort of comment on a fish and get finished games really but it was all a bit bizarre I don't know what that yellow thing was the reporter thing very odd anyway next game uh eve story ah now this is a this was a very popular game uh holly or holy light rider one of the female creators this is a dream a dream made by a young lady named Eve. It started with things she likes, nature, plants and stuff. There's the stuff though, the squirrels. Just like another of her dreams. 
but she's felt something strange, something aggressive, violent and maleficent. Oh dear. A feeling too real to be a dream. Mmm, a nightmare even. Why does she have that bad feeling? Maybe she had some cheese. Whoever or whatever it is, it's approaching. Eve can sense all the evil incoming from that thing. That's a thing? Is that Eve or is that a thing? When will it happen? Is she prepared for this? Well, if that's Eve, she's got a weapon, so she looks pretty prepared. But if it's the thing... Um, I'm not sure. I don't know if that's evil or the thing. It only depends on you. Ah, oh, it's Eve. Eve. Evil. You see, is there a twist? Is Eve actually the evil? Oh no, this appears to be Eve. She doesn't look evil, does she? She looks like nice. Sort of like a... Sort of like a... Like a, an elf. Like a... Like a... Or a fairy. With hair like, like nature. And wearing all the leaves. Anyway. Okay, she's off. Eve is still a novice, but she can perform the focus ability by using the right trigger. She can heal. She can do stuff, apparently. Uh, couldn't read it in time, but obviously she can transform the land and heal herself, it said. Okay, let's go talk to him then. He's obviously going to give us a quest. Please help us, Eve. Bandits and weird creatures invaded. Oh, unfortunately, the teleporter to Silver. Uh, Come on, Danny, I can't read that. You can't possibly have read that in that time. Ugh. Anyway, I guess we've played it before and so didn't need to read it again, but we haven't played it before. So we've no idea what's going on now. She's got to do some quest or other. And there's bandits. And I presume they're the bandits. So let's kill the bandits. And hope the quest will become revealed to us. Whoa! You nearly went in the water. <laughs> nearly went in the water there. I guess that was a healing power, was it? That healed us a bit. Okay. More transforming. It's all very nicely made. Holy Light Rider is a very good creator, made some nice things. What was that? That did something. Did it collect the There's probably collectibles and all sorts of things, but because we didn't see um, or read the, uh, the questy thing, I'm not quite sure what all the instructions, I'm not quite sure what any of this is, or why we're getting that um, arrowy thing over the the bandits when we attack them. I don't know whether that means we've got a bow of an arrow or what that means. Anyway, there's a door, but it's obviously locked, so that's no good. Let's attack a rock in frustration, because the door's locked. Oh, jump about like a kangaroo! Or go back to the door and the go. No, it's definitely locked, Danny. Definitely locked. You're going to have to find a key or something. Yeah, let's go hunting for a key. Um, there's bound to be a key somewhere to open the door. Or a lever or something. Oop, he's trapped, is he? Oh no. Take the great tree core. I guess we need to take it. Oop, there was another cut there. Hmm. What did you do, Dan? Did you go to the toilet? Pause the game? What happened there? My guessing is he needed a comfort break and off he went and then paused it and then came back to it. That's, that's what I'm thinking. I'm not going to be suspicious and think that he did... Uh, he continued the game and decided... Uh, decided it was rubbish what he did and, and came back and did it again. I'm not going to be suspicious. Nope, he needed a comfort break, which is fair enough. So you should have gone before you started. Right. Well, she's using up her healing power. That's probably a good idea because that bar looks really low. And one dead bandit. I don't know what the tree core was for. 
It might have opened the door, of course. You can go back and check. Um. Yep. Uh, no. The door's still shut. There's no point in bashing it. It's shut. It's locked. It's not going to make any difference. You're serious. You're not going to attack it again. Right, okay. Yep, we need to find a kit. We've been there. That's where the call was. Oh, never mind. Sometimes I think... Oh, he was after that, was he? Fair enough. I was about to accuse Danny of having a memory like a goldfish, but um No please God, don't go don't go attacking that door again. No, he's there he is, he's gonna attack the door again. He's obsessed! You clearly need to get a key. I, uh, oh dear. He's just attacking everything now. Okay, oh, that looks good. Go across, across the uh, tree. That There's bound to be something up there. Good. Uh, or down here. I don't think that was on purpose. I think he accidentally fell down there. That's it. Back back up. Back up. We can go across the tree. Maybe not. Ooh. That, that didn't look healthy either. There's some more blocks. See, I didn't read the instructions, so I don't know what they are for if they're for they're just a collecting thing or we need them maybe we need a certain amount of them in the door will open i don't know because we didn't read the quest we have no idea what is going on did you find the core yes we did ah now we can open the gate ah we had to come back to him did we okie doke and the door's opened very good Okay. There's another block. Oh. And we're in Sylvani. Right, well, that's a good port, port to leave it, I think. As we visited and we've got through and we've visited the town of Sylvani or Sylvani or whatever. Let's, let's try another game. That was very good. Even if uh, Danny seemed to have something against doors. Right, Pro Basket Cabbage Ball. Pro Basket I can't even say it. Pro Basket Cabbage Ball. So what we... Select opponent. Who are we going to play against? Right, well there's Danny and he's going to play against... against women that was yeah I think he's, he's been a bit too cocky now he's firing at the baskets from far too far away a bit too optimistic I think I tell you what it's very impressive to get any sort of AI working in Project Spark um, I didn't see who made this but my goodness that's uh, that's a feat in itself very impressive. So how many baskets? Is it a time thing? Or oh, first to reach 21 points. Oh my goodness, it's a long game. There's more than one cabbage in play at any one time as well. But I think Danny's going to win. Uh, we've got six more baskets needed. the woman up Danny <laughs> I guess that's what you are supposed to do that it says attack you haven't got the option what's he doing <laughs> I need 
18. Still got 18. Come on, we need 21 to win. I want to know what happens when you win. Yeah, Daddy, you haven't finished, darling. You need... To... Oh, for goodness sake, you only needed a couple more baskets and you would have won. Why do you leave us hanging like this? We don't know if you won or not. You started grandstanding and we, you could have lost. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, Transformers. Last game. Let's see. Transformers. Weepio Gorgon 26. Just made a level with some Transformers, all designed. And I haven't got time to read it. Ooh, we got some spinny stuff. And, uh, oh, we Optimus Prime, are we? What was... Is that Bumblebee? Optimus, the Decepticons are something or other. Let's get rid of this ad. Ooh. And we have a helicopter. And is that a tank? Can we get in them? Well, no, we're Transformers. We, we wouldn't get into vehicles, would we? No, we'd transform into vehicles, I guess. So do they transform, is what I want to know. Is there any way of... Are they just robots, or do they... transform? Um... Hard to say, really. I mean, they're nice models. I mean, nice robots, definitely. Um, I want to see it transform, though. Does it transform? Is what we need to know. Um, no way to tell. There we go. There's a baddie robot. And I'm afraid I'm not big on Transformers, so I don't know the names of all the uh, characters. So. That's probably somebody major that I just dissed as a bad robot. And that's a big statue. I don't think these are going to transform, are they? They're just robot characters, but they're nice all the same. It's just a big brawly look at my characters I made and watch them fight sort of a game but there we go well there we are well you can't play the games unfortunately because Project Spark has shut down all the uh, all the servers so you can't play Project Spark but uh, I hope you enjoyed me watching Danny play um, a couple of years ago and uh, it's 2018 and those of you who want to still create on Project Spark you can you can download it and you can still play so please uh, put up your new creations because uh, we all love to see them so uh, thanks for watching and keep sparking <laughs>